So quickly before we uh, get into the actual video, I just want to make something as clear as possible for you guys that I did not include every single detail about Help Wanted in this video simply because there's been so much that has been revealed over the past few weeks that it's been actually pretty hard to keep up with all of it and include it all in this video. So for that reason, not everything is included. I just thought I'd bring up some important clips and important details about the game to help solidify this, um, I guess, like mini FNAF theory, I guess you can call it. But I don't know, maybe I'll do a part two to this. But for now, this is this is it. It's already got a few good points in there that I think can really help the case. But yeah, just not everything is included. Super sorry about that. I just didn't want to make it over complicated for me or for you guys watching. So yeah, <laughs> super sorry about that. I just wanted to make it quick and simple. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another FNAF VR Help Wanted discussion video where today I'm going to be asking a very simple question but as you're going to find out has a very complex answer and that is, is Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted Five Nights at Freddy's 7? Or I guess in other words, is Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted canon? Now, this again has a very complex answer, so I didn't want to waste any time, and let's get into the facts. Now, before we can start accusing the canonicity of Help Wanted, we first need to figure out what canon means in the real world, and then convert that definition to something that roughly aligns with what it could mean in the FNAF universe. Now, according to the two seconds it took for me to Google what canon means, the definition of canon is a general rule, law, or principle by which something is judged. So putting that into FNAF terms, canon means a game, minigame, cutscene, etc. that is dubbed relevant to the lore, timeline, or story by Scott Cawthon or the community. Or at least something along that lines. I don't really know. I'm, I'm bad at this, okay? In total, Scott has released eight games not including Help Wanted, and they are FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, FNAF World, Sister Location, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, and Ultimate Custom Night. Out of those eight, six of them are considered canon, those being FNAF 1 through 4, Sister Location, and Pizza Sim. FNAF World isn't canon because, well, isn't it obvious? It's, it's FNAF World. And while yes, Ultimate Custom Night does have lore in it to help strengthen the timeline and story of FNAF as a franchise, it is not canon because every single animatronic in Custom Night cannot be in the same place altogether. It just, it can't happen. Even with our latest and what is considered to be the best timeline of FNAF made by MadPad a few months ago, none of those characters will ever be in the same location, all at the same time. And even if you disagree with that last statement about Custom Night, just think about this. Jacko Chica is one of the characters in the game, and Scott himself confirmed back during the days of FNAF 4 that she is, in fact, not canon. Now, of course, this isn't a perfect explanation about what canon means in the FNAF universe, but as long as we're finding something similar to that, I think we've got a pretty good case. So to kick things off, let's take a look at the main gameplay features of Help Wanted. Now, over the past few weeks, there have been many, many teasers and videos alluding to what we do in Help Wanted, which those are going to be very, very helpful to answering our question. While looking through most of the videos and teasers, we can find out basically exactly what we're going to be doing throughout the game. We can figure out that we will be repairing, at the very least, the FNAF 1 animatronics of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, surviving either one or multiple nights in different locations throughout the franchise, and finding secret plushies and action figures that we can then use at the prize corner to unlock some sort of secret minigames or something along those lines. Now right off the bat, there's a huge problem with what we've just said. 
traveling from location to location literally cannot be done in just one game without some sort of passage of time. So it seems like Help Wanted in that case may be on the lines of some sort of ultimate custom night game where the gameplay itself can't be canon because, like I said, all the characters and locations simply cannot be happening all at the same time. But the game will also have some lore bits secretly put aside for people to uncover and connect pieces to the lore and the story with the rest of the game. Just based off of this information alone, it seems like Ultimate Custom Night and Help Wanted may be in the same sort of category with the gameplay itself not being canon due to all the characters and locations happening at the same time, but that they also have lore bits put aside for people to find and connect with the rest of the timeline. And just the other day, actually, Steel Wars Studios confirmed that the game is going to have different difficulty levels where if you beat the normal difficulty, you can then unlock something that they call the Nightmare difficulty. And if you beat that, then they say that there is going to be secret lore bits for the community to put together to fit with the rest of the timeline. And looking at some of the different trailers that have been released, we can also find out that we will be surviving in the FNAF 2, 3, and 4 locations. We also know that we will be surviving in the sister location, location, because Scott himself said over on Reddit in one of his posts that we will be reenacting the Night 3 minigame where the character is walking through Funtime Auditorium, fending themselves off from Funtime Foxy. And well, yeah, Scott and Steel Wool have confirmed that there are going to be new and exciting levels added to the game. It seems like a bit of a stretch to have the majority of the game be a remake of the old ones, if it is canon. And even the FNAF wiki itself that features some upcoming books, movies, and games says that the FNAF VR experience will not be canon. So, guess we just gotta trust them on that. Like I said at the start of this video, there have been so many teasers, trailers, news articles about Help Wanted and its features, its secrets, that it's been really, really hard to keep up with it all. And so for that reason, I haven't included everything in this video. But I am going to leave you with one last piece of evidence that, at least in my opinion, basically confirms that Help Wanted is not going to be canon to the rest of the franchise. On the teaser that is currently on ScottGames.com, you can see a few characters that are going to be in Help Wanted. Freddy, Baby, Plush Trap, the original gang from FNAF 1. It seems like there's going to be a lot of characters in this game. Right in between Freddy and Funtime Foxy, you can see Nightmare on. Nothing that out of the ordinary, it's just another character that's going to be in the game. Something that sets Nightmare on aside from every single character in that teaser is that Nightmare on itself is not canon. You see, all the way back during FNAF 4's lifespan, on the day of Halloween, or at least near the day of Halloween, Scott released an update for the game called the Halloween Edition. This updated the game to include more animatronics that were previously in FNAF, such as Mangle, the Puppet, Balloon Boy. They were now all characters in FNAF 4. With the addition of taking on their roles as a nightmare animatronics, Scott also gave us a bit of information about their backstory. He also confirmed whether or not they were canon to the rest of the franchise. Nightmare Mangle wasn't canon. Surprisingly, Nightmare Balloon Boy was. However, the topic for today's discussion, Nightmare Yon. Scott confirmed that Nightmare Yon is, in fact, not canon. So including them in a game that is argumentally canon or not seems a bit non-canon to me. But, anyways... That was just my thinking on whether or not Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted is going to be canon to the rest of the franchise or not. Feel free to leave what you guys think in the comments below, and do your own research, and again, leave them in the comments. Maybe we can get something started. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.